Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tony Stewart's Sprint Car Racing once again. We are going to be checking out the career mode today. I just uh, did the intro race, and uh, we now are to the point where we can start our season in the All-Star Circuit of Champions, TQ Midgets. And uh, my team is Black Sports Racing, and the sponsor is Donovan. We'll go ahead and hit uh, A on that and get going. Okay, so sponsor goals, very similar to what we know in the past. Um, we've got two top 35s within four races. Payouts, 300, that's an easy one. Um, hit A for that one. The contracts you are offered will improve as your standings improve. Yes, yes, this is true. Okay, so two top 35s, three top 25s, or four top 25s. I'm gonna go with, um, hmm, that's very challenging. But we're gonna go with three top 25s. I think we can do it. I really do. Uh, we're going to Arrowwood, Woodley, Kenyon County, and Prairie Creek to begin. Uh, and here we are greeted with the main menu. You can see we have up next Arrowwood, uh, all that information, the season info on the right there, uh, car performance at the bottom. Uh, we can simulate a race. We can go to career settings. Um, this is the number one thing I want to do first and foremost is go down here. We're not going to race with legend. We're going to put on expert. Um, I want to have uh, the difficulty there because uh, whenever they're at 105 or even at legend, they're very, very difficult. They're very fast and you're going to have to set up the car every time um, at least uh, to get something decent out of it. Full damage. Uh, I'm fine with the 50% uh, race length right now. They're heat races, so they are already kind of you know uh, short as it is. Uh, flags, all, all that. So this is what we're working with. We're using the controller. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, I do like that. So we'll go back, we'll save it. And now we can move on. So we have the uh, garage here. Uh, shows our car condition, uh, the installed parts. Uh, and you can go down there uh, as you see fit. And then we have the schedule, sponsors, and the about me. There I am. I got my picture taken. I'm in the 26 car. How about that? So... Uh, we can edit our uh, driver and edit my car here. Um, if I edit my driver, you are greeted with this. Uh, you know, um, you have some options here and you can change your helmets. You know, you can change all, all sorts of fun stuff there. Uh, well, you can change your um, look of the fire suit and things like that. I'm not going to mess with it. We're just going to hit continue on that. Uh, and then the uh, edit my car. There's no paint booth in this. This is pretty straightforward. Uh, select a couple, you know, templates, uh, and that's basically it. So keep that in mind. Decals are there. Uh, nothing else really to show there. I, you know, this is something that will definitely, uh, move into a different direction. I think once they, uh, get over the first release of this game, uh, because when I did talk to them, there's a lot of longevity here. They, they really, really want to continue to, uh, to grow this. So that's a great thing to hear. It's not like, you know. Hey, we're making this one time, boom, done. In, in, in fact, it was uh, put together quite quickly, which is impressive. Um, but uh, I, I'm really excited to see where this goes. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so uh, we're good here. Let's go ahead and start the next event. How about that? And we'll go racing at Arrowwood. So I've been playing this game uh, for about um, a couple weeks or so now. About a week at least. Um, of solid playing it. And I've got to say, this I can't explain it. It's just absolutely fun. Um, it, even to the point where I already know, okay, we're going to be at Arrowwood. I'm going to open this up. I'm not using any preset ca uh, car setups because I don't want to turn left. Uh, at uh, As far as dirt racing goes, you're turning right more than left. So if you go into custom race and you... You edit this stuff, you're going to find you can find a happy medium to where the car doesn't feel like you're you're pinched, you know what I mean? Um, so basically what I usually do is I kind of mess with the um, with this. At least one click on all of these, I want to bring them down. I want like a softer kind of feel to them. Uh, and I don't know anything about dirt car setups at all. I really don't. Um, I do know my rear end ratio is going to be almost maxed here. We're going to start with a 510. Uh, and we'll see what we got after that. Um, and also the, the wings, we don't have wings on this, so we don't have to worry about that, which is pretty cool. Okay, so uh, another thing is the front. One and 125. Uh, I like to bump this one up to 1.050 on the rear for that. So we'll save that. 
and we'll see where we sit with that. All right, so we're turning our first uh, practice laps here, and I'm noticing right now I already want to get the uh, I want to get my gear ratio, the final gear ratio, uh, a little shorter. We want to be as close as we can to the you know our red line. Uh, we're just losing so much speed if we don't do that. All right, I've been uh, messing around here. I'm gonna go all the way to six on this and see if that does better. Uh, I know that seems extreme, but remember, we're really down on power compared to everybody else. All right, our goal is at 1376. And you can see we're, we're bouncing on that rev limiter a little bit. We're making sure we don't bounce on it too much, but it does have speed in it, that's for certain. Uh, and that's what we want. We just want more speed. Uh, might have to drop that down. Maybe a 5.9 will be good for qualifying. All right, it's time to start qualifying. I did uh, drop uh, the uh, shocks as well. We're going to try to soften it up even more. All right, we're going to give it the best we can here for two laps. This is our outlap right now. With a 5.9, we should be okay as far as the uh, speed goes. Should be bouncing off that limiter so much. Maybe a little bit on the front stretch, and that's what I want. But it won't be so much on the back. And so that's that's what we're trying to get out of this thing. And we'll see where we end up as far as lap times go. I know we're going to be slow because you know how it goes. You know, you're starting out as a small team. You don't have any R&D. <laughs> you're basically just... Uh, running out there with some stock stuff and, and you're not going to be able to get uh, decent times like you would expect. There we go. A 14.65, we're going to take it. 32nd, uh, you know, bad. But we move on to Heat 4. All right, folks. Heat 4, here we go. Top 5. We're going to try to make it there. Top 2. We want to get to the Qualify Dash, if anything else. So, All right. Let's do it. Green flag in the air. Here we go. All right. So it looks like everybody's kind of just bottom feeding this track. So I think we're going to change our lineup a little bit here and start running down here at the bottom. Who's that in front of us? Whoa. Hello. It's David Bell or somebody. We'll get around him. Five to go. You know, open wheel is not a full contact sport <laughs> when it comes to the cars. But we're doing what we can do here, and we're trying not to make anybody mad in the process. But man, it's go it's going to be tough. Four laps to go, and I've got to say, you know, I had them set to expert, and I thought we would have a fighting chance with just gear ratio stuff. No. So I don't know, man. I think that the AI are going to be a lot harder than people are anticipating them to be. It could be that I suck at dirt, but I think it's going it's to be tough. I've been having a blast uh, driving the 410s, the wing sprint cars. I messed around with some setup stuff on that and started to, to really find a groove with it. It was Those things are a lot of fun to drive. Man, I cannot get this thing to, to be predictable for me. There we go. Less pitch into the corner is what I'm trying to aim for. James Ross, all right. Nice slide on to James right next to him. All the way down to the bottom. Who's going to get it? Hey, we'll take 18th. We don't get uh, advance. Yeah, we don't get to advance to the A main. But you know what? We'll take 18th and we'll move on. Final results, 38th. That is not going to cut it at all. That's pretty bad. There's our race earnings. So we sold $3 of merch. Uh, sponsor payout 380 and finishing 38th is 1500 bucks. Hey, we'll take the, the money and we'll run. Okay, so we finished 38th. Sponsor goal, no, not happening. Money, there it is. Tires are worn out from that. Uh, we gained one fan. How about that? Engine is in excellent condition. Suspension's in fair condition, but the tires we absolutely destroyed on that moderate driving. So we'll hit A on that. Continue. Um, it says here 38th. Yes, we know. Don't give us a trophy on that one. We move on to Woodley, uh, and that is where we start to look at uh, our options here in the garage. So we know that the tires are bad. We're going to have to repair. You can switch out a part, repair a part, or buy a new part. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to pair, you know, repair it. We're going to have to buy new tires. And here we are opening this 
Uh, we have a catalog, so we get to go through and look through the uh, catalog. Uh, you know, obviously, we want to go through things that we don't uh, we don't have um, a lot of money for, which is owned here. Uh, you got one star, two star, and three star tire sets. So that's something that we can uh, bring it up. Uh, so let's go with this. We'll purchase and equip those, and uh, we're basically going to be broke here. You watch. Um, steel standard kit is what we have for. Uh, the suspension. So, actually, you know what? Let's uh, see what we got here. We can repair the part. It's in fair condition. And uh, let's see there. Boom. We're good to go. You might be able to do that on the tires. I don't know. But I'm going to start small and move my way up as far as uh, putting money into the car. We have $1,000 right now. Um, what do we have as far as engine-wise goes? We can look at the catalog and see what we have next. 5100 for the next uh, steel standard here. I will go to uh, look at the catalog on this and uh, the chassis is showing, uh, you know, it's going to take some money for sure and take some money uh, for that. And then uh, for this, it's going to be twenty five hundred bucks. So we have a while to go as far as that goes for sure. That's the overview and we'll start the next event. All right, only the best was a twelve forty on that one. We our goal is eleven forty one on that. So I'm going to have to work on that for sure. We have a lot of room to play with here as far as the rear end ratio. So we're going to go up to six. I know that seems extreme, but uh, whenever you're down on power, you're going to notice uh, very quickly that it's not what you think it will be, especially in the midgets. I've noticed on shorter tracks, you want to get everything you can out of it. And this is usually a good way to do that. But obviously, we don't want to be overheating uh, the engine the entire time we're doing it. So we'll see how this one pans out. So we ran a 1229, and last one was a 1263. I think that's all we got, Captain. Yeah, I just don't think we have anything for this, man. It's it's going to be a tough one. Nope, nope, nope. A 1263. Yeah, even worse. So I don't know what happened there, but not good. We go to heat two. All right, heat two. Let's do it, folks. Yep. Good luck is right. We're going to need it. This is going to come down to us trying to uh, use our racecraft to get uh, any positions because I'll tell you what, we have absolutely no speed in this thing, like, at all. So let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do in the opener here. Looking on Mark Thomas. Oh, somebody slid really wide there. Contact with him. Trying to get away from them there. Not going to be happy with us. I'm sure that was Courtney Smith uh, that uh, we got into. I'll tell you what, sometimes these cars, when you're going like three wide, they do not like it. They just don't. Man, we are not able to do anything. I'm throwing everything I got at it. I don't know, uh, you know, dirt car uh, setups, but man, I just, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm throwing everything I can at it. We just need more at the shop. Yeah, that was no good. It is time for the B main once again, my friends. Once again, we're doing the B main, but uh, all right, we're going to skip that and we're just going to go right into this. We need a lot of work. We need money, we need speed, we need engines. We need everything, man. That is for certain. We're going to see what we can do here in the main, the B main. Try not to wreck out Dustin Wood there. Yeah, it just seems like the car is really, really slow in the center of the corner. Not using a whole lot of left steering input. I'll show you in the outside view here. We, we got it kind of in neutral, and then you right. Uh, we had to do it a couple times there. I was trying not to hit that person. Try to get in the set. Okay. Okay. Let's try not to hit each other the whole time so I can demonstrate something. So see, you can get a pretty neutral feel of the car, uh, how it's set up right now. But if we had more engine, uh, you know, more speed, more RPM would definitely help us maintain that angle, I've noticed. So... Okay, we're trying to do everything we can. Slide job on Mr. Jenkins there. That's not Bob Jenkins. That's Dave Jenkins. Doing everything we can to try to get a couple spots. White flag in the air. Let's just not finish dead last, please. But you can see the struggle's real, man. It's going to be a tough road, uh, you know, rising up through the ranks here. We'll take 18th, and I'm actually proud of that. Once again, we finish 
38th. So it's not dead last, but it's pretty close. <laughs> $769 is all we get out of that one. So we didn't make a whole lot. Smooth driving on the car condition. I love to see that. Engine's in fair shape, unfortunately. Um, but we, I mean, we, we really did work it over in uh, practice. And I kind of was hoping that wasn't going to be the case, but it, it was. Kenyon County. I do like that track a lot. Okay, so we could change this. Let's go with easy. Now we know where we sit. There's just no way in hell we're going to be able to <laughs> keep up with that. Let's go ahead and repair that part. How much money we have now? Two grand. Can we even afford a new engine? Because that's really what we need, isn't it? We need $5,100 for that. That's just not going to happen, man. Not going to happen at all. Um, owned. That thing isn't so great, but we need to put, you know, let's see if we can repair the tires. So, yes, you can. So, we're just going to repair. We got to have this car at 100% to have any shot at all to win a race. Or not even to win a race, so to get our incentive. So, we'll start the next event at Kenyon County. Um, we're about a second off the pace, and that's just alarming. That's everything we got. So we're just going to have to, you know, basically just go for it and uh, try to raise money for new parts. We're doing better than we did in practice, but I got to say, it's just not going to be enough. No way. No way. 1461, 38th. It is time to go racing uh, with Heat 2. And that is a top five. Yeah, good luck. Top five. L O L. To that. Green flag in the air. Here we go, racing. At a great track. I do love this track. It's a lot of fun, especially on the wing 410s. All right. Okay, we're doing all right so far. We're really, really just having to throw ourselves around here, be aggressive. The other thing is that I'm using a, a very early version of the game still, or an early build. So I think that we're seeing some uh, pickups and frame rate issues uh, that'll be addressed in the final product. But I just want to let you know that everything you see is not final. Right down there. We're doing everything we can to fight in the lower tier, man. And uh, I just don't think it's going to be enough. Well, we didn't damage the car, so that's good news. Eighth in Heat 2, and we move on to, you guessed it, folks, the B-Main. That's, that's where we live now, in the B-Main. Here we go. Yes, we are. Top five to advance the A-Main, which we will never do. But, hey, you know what? Maybe there'll be a huge pileup, and we we'll have to drive on by everybody and advance to the A-Main for once in our lives. All right, here we go. Green flag racing. Working on, we got Ken Hall and William Gonzalez working on us there in the beginning. Just don't have any speed in the corners. We're all right in the straightaway, but man, we just don't have anything for them uh, in the corners itself, unfortunately. There we go. Five laps to go. Had to check up there big time to not crash into that person. Yeah, I went. I don't know about a rhythm, but we're trying to do something here. That's for certain. So, you know, when it all comes down to it, when it boils down to it, some people really like the, uh, you know, they like the challenge of moving up through the ranks. I, I really do enjoy that. It's a time-consuming process, uh, which is good because, you know what? It gives you longevity uh, with the game, and it'll keep you busy for a while. You know what I mean? But if you don't like that sort of thing, you know, you can always turn down the, the difficulty of them, and you could be competitive in the beginning and have fun, and it, it, you kind of tailor it to however you want it to be is what I'm saying. Because trust me, I'd, I'd rather not be finishing all the way in the back constantly. But you know what? The very fact that we're not dead last is, is fine with me. 
Yeah, and you know what that means. Let's guess it. 38th. Yep. 38th. There you go. We cannot do anything on expert mode, and we've been throwing everything we can at it. Everything. But hey, there's some more money in the bank. We're just, we, we've got to stop spending our money on the car and, uh, and going from there, basically. So that is the basis of, uh, of what to expect with career mode. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here. You can see right there at the end, you have the wing. You don't have to worry about the wing because we have a wingless car. But uh, if we didn't, we did have a wing, we'd have to, you know, do maintenance on that as well. Uh, Prairie Creek. What do we have left in our season here? Um, let's see. Schedule is Prairie Creek of 14. And then Washington. Okay, so it's 14 races total. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, guys. Well, that's pretty much our first look at the career mode in Tony Stewart's sprint car racing. Um, you can, uh, you know, basically make it however you want to. And uh, I'm enjoying this. I'm going to continue to do it. I'm probably going to stream it whenever um, it releases uh, and work on it that way. I think I'll have fun using my wheel uh, instead of the controller so much. But uh, with that said, uh, remember, guys, this comes out on consoles the 14th of February. That is Valentine's Day. Uh, and then if you are waiting for the Steam release, that's on the 21st. So not very far to wait at all. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next time. Take care.